So previously we have learned the concept of Euclid's division lemma. So in this video we are going to learn how to express any two positive integers using Euclid's division lemma. So let me take an example. Express the following pairs of integers using Euclid's division lemma. So the first one is 27 comma 6. So see, we'll begin with the solution. The first step is copy your integers in the same order. 27 comma 6. Label the first integer as A and the second integer as B. Right? So basically your first integer is your dividend, second integer is your divisor. Next step, divide the two. How? A divided by B. IP don't do the other way around. So the next step is do A divided by B. That is 27 divided by 6. Right? So you can use the long division method. So 27 divided by 6. 6 goes in 27. 4 times. 4 multiplied by 6, 24. 27 minus 24 is 3. Any more digits left? No. So what is the quotient? 4 is the quotient. Label this as Q. What is the remainder 3? Label it as R. So we have all the four values A, B, Q and R. Then write down Euclid's division lemma. That is A is equal to B multiplied by Q plus R. Now just plug in the values. What is A? It is 27 is equal to B. That is 6 multiplied by the quotient Q. That is 4 plus what is the remainder? It is 3. And don't forget to write your remainder is over here. So where the remainder is greater than or equal to 0 and less than B. Right. So state Euclid's division lemma. A is equal to B into Q plus R. Where R is between 0 and B. And then just plug in the values. So A is 27. B is 6. Q is 4. R is 3. So 27 is 6 into 4 plus 3. As simple as that. I repeat once again, label the first integer as A, second as B, do A divided by B, label the quotient as Q, remainder as R. So you have A, B, Q, R, state Euclid's division lemma, plug in the values. Let me take another example, 7 and 12. So first copy your numbers as it is, 7, 12. Label the first number as A and the second number as B. See, often you might think, no, the bigger number should be A. No, first integer as A, second as B. What is the next step? A divided by B. So what is A divided by B? It is 7 divided by 12. So we'll do it by the long division method. 7 divided by 12. Right? So 12 goes into 7. 7 is smaller than 12. So 0 times. 0 multiplied by 12? 0. 7 minus 0? It is 7. Right? Any more digits left? No. So here is the quotient. Here is the remainder. Clear? So what is the quotient 0? Remainder 7. That is 7 divided by 12 is 0 remainder 7. Next, state Euclid's division lemma. That is A is equal to B into Q plus R, where R is greater than or equal to 0 and less than B. Now just plug in the values. What is A? A is 7 is equal to what is B? It is 12 multiplied by Q plus R. So what is Q? Q means quotient, it is 0. What is the remainder? 7. Right? So we have 7 is equal to 12 into 0 plus 7. As simple as that. Next, 30 comma 5. So I'm sure by now you're comfortable in this. So copy your two integers, same order, 30 comma 5. Label the first integer as A, second integer as B. Next to A divided by B. That is 30 divided by 5. So 30 divided by 5. 5 goes in 30, 6 times. 6 into 5, 30. 30 minus 30. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So 30 minus 30, it is 0. Any more digits left? No. So what is the quotient 6? Label it as Q. What is the remainder 0? Label it as R. So now, state Euclid's division lemma. That is A is equal to B into Q plus R where r is greater than or equal to 0 and less than b. Now just plug in the values. So what is a? It is 30 is equal to what is b? b is 5 multiplied by q plus r. Right? So what is the quotient? It is 6. What is the remainder 0? That is 30 divided by 5 is 6 remainder 0. So we have done it over here. So given any two positive integers, this is how you express them using Euclid's division lemma. I repeat, the first step is label them as A and B. First integer is A, second is B. Don't mix the two. 
then do a divided by b whatever quotient you get label it as q remainder you get label it as r so a b q and r are known to you state euclid's division lemma plug in the values as simple as that right so this is how you can express any pair of positive integers using euclid's division lemma so this over here is the final answer right so just state euclid's division lemma and a good technique is you can also mention over here in bracket e dot d dot l meaning this over here is euclid's division lemma right so euclid's division lemma so this over here is euclid's division lemma right so you're basically telling the examiner what this is right so this is basically euclid's division lemma and just plug in the values i repeat once again for any pair of integers first step copy integers label the first integer as a second as b now divide the two a divided by b label the quotient as q remained as r state euclid's division lemma plug in the values as simple as that right so this is how you can express any pair of positive integers using euclid's division lemma